Hello, Nopal Knitter. It's Nancy Queen, and I'm so glad you're here with me today because we are going to make these adorable little squishy hearts. You can see there. Each one is like on its own little puff. I've made them in a bunch of different colors, and I'm going to show you how to make them and how to give them as gifts, what to do with them. Before we get into that, though, let's take it easy on me because I did cut my hair myself and uh, I just couldn't take it anymore. So whoosh, whoosh, I hacked into it and um, don't beat me up too bad in the comments. So let's get into these little puffy hearts right now. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified every time I post. For this project, I'm using UU Woolly Worsted Washable Yarn. It's a washable merino. And there is a link right here in the description above to this PDF free printable pattern, as well as in the description below. I'm also using a pair of size six straight needles, a finishing needle, and a pair of small scissors. You'll also want to grab a little bit of polyfill to stuff your heart and choose from a wide variety of colors. UU comes in more than 25 colors. They're gorgeous. Here's a small sampling of them. So make your heart into whatever color you want. There are also pre-coordinated kits and I'll provide links to those as well. I've chosen the color Citrus Pop for my heart today. And I'll start by making a slip knot and casting on two stitches. Use whatever cast on you feel most comfortable with. I'm going to use the long tail cast on. Now I'm going to turn my work and in those two stitches that I just made, I'm going to increase in both of those stitches by knitting a knit front and back. So I go into the knit stitch, wrap the yarn around and bring it up, but I don't slide it off the needle. I go back into the back of the stitch and then knit it again. Now I slide that first stitch off the needle and you can see I have two new stitches. So go into the stitch, wrap the yarn around, don't slide it off the needle, go into the back of the stitch and knit it one more time. So now you have four stitches on your needle and you're ready to work the next row. For row two, you're just going to purl all four of those stitches. For row three, you're going to knit in the front and back of that first stitch. So I'll go back in and knit it again. Then I'm going to knit across to the last stitch. And then when I get to the last stitch, I'm going to knit front and back one more time. So I've increased two stitches on the knit row. Now I have six stitches on my needle. And then for the next row, row four, I'm just going to purl all of those stitches across the row. You'll keep repeating these two rows, the knit row with the increases at each end and the purl row until you have 14 stitches on your needle. And I find it very easy to remember because Valentine's Day comes on the 14th of the month and these adorable hearts have 14 stitches across at their widest part. While you're making your heart, I just want you to consider who you're making it for whether you know them or not. In fact, I just got a link from a hospital in the United Kingdom in Glasgow, who is, it's a hospital that's knitting hearts in pairs for people that are sick or even passed away. And they knit um, two hearts, actually, one that goes to the person that is sick or passed away, and the other goes to the family members so that they have a connection because a lot of times people can't see each other with the current situation while they're in the hospital. And this just allows them to have a connection. They've been doing this for quite some time, and it's really touched a lot of people and, and helped them through a very difficult time in their life. So if you want to knit some extra hearts for them, I will include links to their address and 
It's a great way to just pass on some love. Every heart you make gets given to someone who really needs it and will really find comfort from this heart. You can also knit these hearts for your friends, for boyfriends or girlfriends, parents, children, grandchildren, even your mailman. Knit something for someone and knit a heart to show someone you love. And I think the current situation we're in right now, really, we need this extra bit of love. Um, Maybe you want to even look into starting up a program like this at the hospital in your area. But again, I'll provide all the information if you want to knit for the hospital in Glasgow. And if you do knit any of these hearts, I would love for you to share it with me on social media, post it on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, uh, you know, I'm everywhere. And just use the hashtag Noble Knits or tag me so that we can find your hearts and see how many people have knitted hearts for others. So let's get on with the pattern. Now, once you have 14 stitches on your needle, don't forget to go ahead and work that last purl row of 14 stitches. And then we'll be back on the front of our work and we'll be able to start knitting and shaping the top of the heart. Now you should be ready to knit a knit row, not a purl row, and we are going to work these two little bumps that make the top of the heart, but they're going to be worked separately. We're gonna work the first bump and then the second bump. So the first one, we're going to start by knitting the first two stitches together. Then we're going to knit the next five stitches. Now, you should still have seven stitches remaining on your needle and you're just going to ignore those. You're gonna turn your work and you're gonna work back across the stitches that you just knitted. Now we're going to work them by purling the first two stitches together. Now we're going to purl the next stitch and the stitch after that. And then we're gonna purl those last two stitches together. Now we are down to four stitches. We'll turn our work, we're back on the knit side. And now we're ready to bind off those four stitches. So we're going to knit the first stitch. Then we're going to knit the second stitch and take the first one up and over. And keep your tension the same as you've had it throughout the rest of this project. Now we're going to repeat that. Knit one and take the first one up and over. Now you should be down to one stitch on that needle. And I'm going to leave a long tail so that I can work the second portion. So it's about a 12 inch tail, maybe a little bit longer than that. And we're going to knit those stitches that are... um, still on the needle. So what I do is I like to finish this one off by weaving in the yarn end through that last loop. So that's fastened off. And now rather than cutting it and having to weave in that tail, what I do is I go ahead and I just weave it in the back and I just take it down to where I'm going to pick up again with my knitting. So I'm not having to reattach it. And when you're on the back like this, just double check to make sure it's not showing through on the other side. And now I can, um, I'm gonna do one more stitch here. So it's just under where I'm going to start my knitting. Now I take the needle out and I'm ready to start doing my decreases and I'm going to work them the reverse. So I'm going to knit across these and then do the decrease at the end. The last one we did it at the very beginning on that first row. So I'm going to knit across five stitches and then here on the last two I'm going to knit those together. Now on the purl side 
I'm going to purl those first two stitches together. Now I'm just going to purl the next two stitches and then I'm going to purl the last two stitches together. Now, just like in the other side, I have four stitches left and I'm going to bind off those last four stitches, just like I did on the other side. Now you have one heart completed. I always like to go ahead and weave in the yarn ends on the back, on the purl side, so that none, none of them are showing and then I don't have a ton of yarn ends to weave in at the very end. And now you're going to make another heart just like this one and I'll show you how to join them together and stuff them. This is my favorite part of these hearts. I've got a little bit of polyfill and my hearts are completed. They look so cute. My heart halves and they're ready to be joined together. So I grab a piece of thread about a piece of yarn about 18 to 24 inches long. I thread that and then I'm going to put the right sides together. So the knitted sides, we want the purl sides to be on the outside right now. And I'm just going to sew around the heart and then I'm going to leave about an inch gap so that I can turn it right side out, stuff it and finish it. So I just go into the heart and around the outside, I leave about a four to six inch tail so that I can weave that in later. And I hold on to it a little bit in the beginning so that I don't accidentally pull on it. And now I'm just gonna go weaving in and out, up and down, all the way around my heart. Okay, so I've made it around and I still have this nice little gap here. It's about one inch wide. And I'm going to just take my needle out for a minute and now I'm going to turn my heart right side out. And just take a moment to shape those little heart bumps so that your heart looks really good. I love this part, it looks so cute seeing it shape up. Ta-da! Okay, now we're ready to stuff it. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of the stuffing at a time and fill it in. And I start by going into those um, heart bumps at the top first. I do a little bit in each spot. I want it to be kind of firm, but still soft and squishy. That's how I like to think of it. Because the stuffing will go down quite a bit after a while when somebody's holding it and hugging it. So you want it to be, you want it to have a little bit of firmness. When it starts sticking out, I know that it's time to shove in that last little bit. Now I'm going to re-thread my long strand and finish up those last couple of stitches. And once they're done, I, I do a little bit of finessing to make sure the stuffing is not showing. And now I, my starting strand and finishing strand are, are together. So what I like to do is I tie a knot, a square knot, and then I bury both ends into the heart so that they're not going to come undone. So I'm just going to, oh, forgot to do the second part of the square knot. Okay, now it's done and I can bury it. So I go in right next to where the knot is so that it gets hidden inside and I pull it out on the other side. And now I pull a little bit when I'm cutting so that I know that strand will pop back inside the heart and you won't be able to see it anymore. And I'll do that with the remaining strand. Don't forget to go and download your PDF pattern, your free PDF pattern of this heart, and I'll see you in the next video.